Hey everyone, welcome to my video. You won't be seeing much of me in this video because it is a video where it's what my friends are doing in quarantine so you can see what other people are doing in quarantine besides myself. Plus, I also love editing other people's videos because it's more interesting for me because I already know what happened in my own videos. Also, Hannah, I'm sorry I took like not as much time editing yours because I ran out of time for the deadline of this video and I thought yours would take the fastest but then I just let it slip my mind because I needed to edit your videos so it's not as well edited. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Please, please Please, please subscribe because I work really hard on my YouTube channel and I hope you enjoy. Hi, I'm Riley. I gotta get back to Hogwarts. Welcome to my day in a life in quarantine. Um, I'm not really doing much right now because I'm kind of stuck at home, but today I'm going to do some homework and then around 6-ish I have a advanced song study class with Miss Nancy Ross. She's pretty, pretty cool. She's like a professional clown. She's in a cover band. She's pretty dope. This is my room. It used to be pink. Now it's white, but we're going to paint it light gray. This is just the primer. So I might go on a bike ride or a walk today. So yeah, I'm excited to vlog my day for Kayla. I'm her number one fan. Jaden, you're her number two. I'm her number one. This is what my room looks like right now. It's just like my bed and my bookshelf and my desk. All covered in tarps and stuff. That my dad doesn't want really anyone to help because he likes things done very precisely. He's um, kind of a perfectionist. I'll do some honors chem notes. My teacher's been pretty chill and hasn't been giving us much homework, which is really nice. After that, I think I'm going to do some math notes and then do some Khan Academy. And I think we am going to do some English right before lunch. For lunch, I'm going to have a monkey bee sandwich and I'll teach you guys how to make that because they're so good. Ah. All right, I finished my honors cabinets and now on to math. Yay! Welcome to my kitchen. It's lunchtime, so I'm gonna show you guys how to make a monkey bee sandwich. So good. If you don't like peanut butter, Hi. honey, or bananas, I don't think you'll like it. But if you like those things, I think you'll love this. You gotta get three pieces of bread. Cause that's how you make a sandwich. I use potato bread because it's delicious. And you gotta get your honey out. Honey. And then your peanut butter. My family eats a lot of peanut butter, so this giant arf. Costco, I believe. And then you gotta get your bananas. Ooh, the last one, perfect. Mine's a little old, but I like them like this. And then you need a knife. What I do is I put the peanut butter on first. If you cut the banana before the peanut butter, you get monkey. Uh -huh. You get the banana in your peanut butter. And that's just not good. So you wanna get some peanut butter, put it on your bread. Really, it's preference to how much peanut butter you should put on. I like to put like a medium amount, like just like the perfect amount, you know? My dad taught me how to make these. I don't know if he made them up or if he found the, like, not the recipe because it's like a sandwich, but the idea to make these. And then if you have any leftover peanut butter, you take your other piece of bread and just wipe it on there. Then you take the same knife because you don't want to waste and use it to cut your banana. Oh, my banana just almost fell on the ground. Oh, cut off the end pieces. I'm sorry, Riley. Did you just eat the end of a banana? I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to eat that part, but uh, you do you, girl. You're gonna cut them into slices. It doesn't matter how thick or thin they are, just again, preference. I'll just put them on your side with the peanut butter. You can't really see what I'm doing. Put the bananas on it like that. And then, I'm gonna get your honey. Someone just called me to so interrupt my video. So, you get your honey and you put it on your other piece of bread. Again, preference to however much you want. And I'm just gonna spread it out. Some people don't like honey, I don't, I don't get it. It's so sweet. I had a beehive in my attic once, and the guy who was taking it out did have a bunch of honeycomb, and we got to eat the honey from the honeycomb, and it was really good. And once it's all spread out, you're gonna put the pieces together. I like to squish it down. <laughs> then, um, got your monkey bee sandwich. I just got down to lunch. I've been watching these YouTubers. Their name is Rose and Rosie. They're a lesbian, married couple, and I love them so much. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and they're really funny, so if you're gay or British, you should watch them because they're really funny. They just talk about their life, and their life is really fun and interesting, and I really enjoy them. They make me happy, and maybe they'll make you happy too, so you should watch them. Also, I've been watching this show called The Society. It's about these teenagers who are the senior class at their school in this small town. They go on this camping retreat, but they have to come back because they have like a storm or something. And then when they come back, there's no one there, so they have to like try to figure out where they are, like what's happening and all that. Really cool, really interesting. Huge plot twist. I might go on a walk. Okay, so instead of a walk, I decided I'm gonna play Fallout 4. It's a really fun game. I highly suggest it. I got all my homework done. I didn't work on any English today, so I don't have anything due. I told 
tomorrow. Oh my gosh, this game is so much. <laughs> I love this game so much. Um, and I have my blanket and my giant bear because they're painting my room. I can't really sleep there. So I've been sleeping on the couch, which is kind of annoying because I don't really have like my own space. And now that I don't have my room, don't get me wrong. I'm very grateful that my dad is painting my room. What? I realize now how much I miss having my own space and it really sucks because I really like to stay up really late and watch movies with my dad. So I'm stuck down in the den. Oh, shoot. So I'm stuck in the den until they're done and it's really annoying. Uh, oh my god. So I just finished my advanced song study class with Nancy and it went pretty well. I sang but not too good because I didn't warm up but I got some good advice and so that was fun and now I'm eating dinner. I'm having a cheeseburger with bacon and onions and french fries. So yeah. Oh, I think I'm gonna get some apple juice too. Apple juice. Hi, so it's the next morning. I kind of forgot to film an outro last night. So here it is. I hope you enjoyed my day in a life in quarantine and maybe you'll see me on another one of Kayla's videos. So yeah, it was fun. <laughs> Bye. Hi, Kayla's little YouTube channel. I'm Hannah. Happiness is a butterfly. I'm in some of Kayla's videos, but I'm mostly in the background. And I literally just say random things that she edits. I guess for this video, she wanted her friends to like film something like a day in the life of like us being in quarantine. I thought a day in a life for me would be like super boring. Oh my god, I literally can't hold my camera. I'm not a vlogger. It'd be really boring for me because all I really do is stay up till 1 a.m. or 2, depends, whatever I'm feeling. And then I like wake up in the afternoon. So I get like over 12 hours of sleep like a day, which is not something I need, but I mean, that's how I cope. So I was like, no one really wants to watch me literally do nothing. Well, I guess I'm just gonna film me talking about something that I like, I guess. I guess I'll talk about, ew, I didn't like that. I'm starting to sound like this guy that goes to our school. It's gross and disgusting. Like, just like talk about music and like what type of like music I've been listening to. And it's a lot of Lana Del Rey because <laughs> she's my- I just did a full on like Debbie Ryan right there. She's a queen and icon. And if you haven't listened to any of her music, like I I'm offended stream all of her albums i guess i'll just like load up my spotify and show you kind of like the music i've been listening to if you have any good songs like please comment below and also make sure to like this video yes kayla there you go i gave you a whole self promo and subscribe the thing about me is i know a lot of people do like individual playlists where they have sad playlists, happy playlists. for me i am literally not one of those like aesthetic like tumblr girls who like does that i deadass just have a full playlist of all all my favorite music. I'm so cool. I have a little butterfly. He he he. Also, Claro, yes, I know. I listen to more than just Pretty Girl, don't you worry. The music I'm kind of been into is a lot of like Conan Gray lately because his music just, it just makes me feel so nostalgic and I, I don't know, I, I love that. Okay, so his song Idle Town, actually such a good song. Like, it just kind of gives me like nostalgia when I used to live in Oceanside. Like, really getting into Claro's album immunity really good album i really wanted to see her on tour but i wasn't able to i love bags i love sophia i love feel something sinking is really good too i guess i'll show you some of my lana del rey favorites i have a lot her born to die off of her born to die paradise edition is really good it kind of makes me in my feels summertime sadness is a classic do in time was like a cover of a like, originally a sublime song i hate to say it but i like the cover of it more video game Games is also a classic. Blue Jeans, amazing. Norman Effing Rockwell. I really loved this album. For every album, she kind of changes up like her look, her aesthetic too. This one, it gave me a very like rich wife, like yacht type of vibe. Okay, some of my favorite songs on here are Norman Effing Rockwell. I fit I Love You, love that song. Do In Time, obviously. And then Cinnamon Girl, I love that song so much. The Greatest is so good. And then Happiness is a Butterfly. And of course, Hope is a Dangerous Thing for a Woman Like Me to Have. I also listen to a lot of The Wallows. You guys should also check that out. The lead singer of the band, Clay and 13 Reasons Why. But I don't like that show. I'm so sorry. I just like don't, but I love his music. I hope you enjoyed my little like music thing, I guess. Mostly me just going off about my queen Lana because like, my goal in life is to literally see her in concert because I love her so much. I hope you guys are all like staying safe and social distancing. Love you all. Hey, it's Nastasha. 
Kayla's sister. Pretty much adopted her, put her under my wing. Right now, she wanted me to vlog what I do during quarantine today. Right now, I'm actually waiting for this lady. I'm actually not driving, I'm parked. Um, never drive with your phone on. I've been waiting for this woman for probably like two minutes now. I, maybe it's a man. I'm not really, not really positive. She just walked away to put her car all the way back. Why? Just take your time. Just take your time. It's fine. Thank the Lord. I just got home from the store. All I got was chocolate chips because my sister has been making a lot of banana bread with chocolate chips. It's super bomb. And then cucumbers because the snack I've been eating is cucumber and hummus. And then coffee creamer for obvious reasons. I just straight up drink coffee creamer. I am with Angelina. Angelina, the waitress at the pizzeria. Her sister. Blood sister. Oh my god. <laughs> hey guys, I'm right now doing some of my homework. I only have two classes because my chemistry and chem lab class got canceled due to the whole pandemic. <laughs> I just have my online classes now. I have to do Zoom every once in a while just for like meetings and just to make sure we're all up to date. I usually don't like showing up to those. You should show up to them. I'm just haven't got my sleep schedule right. So I have nutrition and real estate. I have a project to do Saturday for nutrition, diet analysis project. And then for real estate, I have all the homework and midterm and final are all due on June 1st, which is amazing. The diet analysis is like getting me because I have so much to do in this project. And like, I'm not like unhealthy, but I probably should be eating healthier and nutrition actually has been scaring me. It's super interesting if you're into that, but super, super terrifying what you learn, like what the body does and everything because it really goes into depth of everything. Um, Yeah. Got my baby girl here now. <laughs> Kayla reminded us low-key on a bad day because we are literally- Dude, yesterday I feel like we were so productive. We baked we, a banana bread, she, of course. She baked. Yeah, and I made, I made pasta and then I made chicken. We watched a movie too. Like Yeah, I mean, and it was freaking really creepy the day before. No, but like, I mean, we did so much stuff yesterday, like cooking and stuff. And now like today we only have like leftovers. So. They're delicious, but- Yeah, really all really I can show you is my hummus snack that you literally could buy from the store. Store. Thanks, Kayla. Thanks, Kayla. Love you, baby girl. <laughs> I've been buying a lot of stuff during quarantine because I have a shopping addiction. So far, I've gotten a lot of workout clothes. Like, I'm ordering a yoga mat right now. Got swimsuits. Those are super cute. I'm looking through some more workout stuff because I got some shorts and actually my ass doesn't even fit in the freaking shorts. So that's like really awesome. It's great when you see your progress, but also when you always have ordered the same size over and over, but it's like, it doesn't even fit in anything. Kind of sucks. We've been trying to work out a lot of just core and then sometimes running and stuff. But other than that, just shopping a lot. I got stuff from Frankie Bikinis, Adidas, curly products because i can't even go to the store where i used to buy them anymore got new airpods got an apple tv we've been using a lot I'm going to aloe yoga because i'm getting a yoga mat I don't really remember what else i've been getting um uh, going to the store a lot cooking new things All right this is what we bought in so during quarantine i got a bunch of swimsuits for hot girl summer i got new airpods i got these nikes so i can run this is Angelina's little cute haul. She got these skirts, a little bandana right there, two tanks, super cute. Got new hair products because all the stores are closing. Styling cream, detangler, shampoo and conditioner. All right, vlog, we're FaceTiming Samantha. <laughs> the peace no, sign and Angelina's vlog. trying all my clothes. Mm -hmm. She sh will inherit them one day. Oh. Okay, hey, we just cleaned our face and we just put our like PJs on. Yeah, we watched the movie Invisible Man. Super good, super scary if you like scary movies. Yeah. And then we ate some dinner and then we played Stop and Trivia Crack. Now we're gonna go to bed. Oh, we did a lot of our homework. I finished my three day project <laughs> two days in advance. And my history. Good night, everyone. All right. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jada. I want it. Seven. Welcome to my section of the quarantine vlogs. It's my birthday. We're going to my grandma's house. I made quiche. Welcome to my grandma's house. See? She's asking Look. if it's ours. Papa, Evan. She I was a girl in the village doing all right. Then I became a princess overnight. Mm -hmm.
I'm excited that he's the birthday girl now. Also, I got my first birthday present of the day. Our thermometers, courtesy of Uncle Doug. Do you have anything to say? <laughs> this is Mimi. This is in Kayla's vlog. We both have Mimi, so yeah, here she is. So I know here the film quality is really bad, but this is Jaden's reaction to the gift that her grandparents gave her. <laughs> Up updates people, I got a car, we're taking it to Starbucks. It's been a while since I last filmed, nothing interesting really happened, we just like went to Starbucks and had cake and stuff for my birthday, um, I don't think I'm really doing anything that's vlog worthy after this, I'm just watching 16 Candles, so I guess that's the end of the vlog, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hey everyone, so that wraps up today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I know you didn't see a lot of me, but I hope my friends' lives were pretty interesting. Please like, comment, and subscribe, share with your friends, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.